morning Facebook. <laughs> I'm outside. Check this. This is at my parents' house. This is their blueberry bush. Look at all the blueberries. We've been picking these for like days, weeks. But, good morning, Juanita. There's Peppy. Hey, there's my mom. There's Benny over there. You hear all the birds? It's because they love me. <laughs> they love us. So, before I picked the blueberries, I touched my friend maybe my sister, brother, the blueberry bush. And I asked her if it was okay if I could have some of her beautiful blueberries and taste of her fruit. And she said, uh, yes, of course. I am you and you are me. We are one. My fruit is your fruit. Whew. So I've been really thinking about the caterpillar lately. And this morning I sat down with my grandmother and my mother and I told them about the uh, story of the ugly duckling and the caterpillar and the illusion of who we thought we were. So check this out. So the ugly duckling thought it was an ugly duckling. It acted and behaved like an ugly duckling. It never knew it was who, who it truly was. It, it thought, it literally thought it was an ugly duckling. Now this is the subjective reality of the individual I, the individualism, the individual unto themselves that does not know, that has forgotten the one being that it is, and that we are. So the ugly duckling didn't know it was a beautiful swan. It thought it truly thought it was an ugly duckling, which was only an illusion created by the mind, by the individual mind, the analytical mind that likes to create and solve problems creates illusions to therefore it creates the illusion of error therefore it can um, create a solution to fix the illusion of error hope that made sense so the ugly duckling thought it was truly thought it was an ugly duckling until the day it looked down into the calm still waters hey Kelly of reflection he leads us beside the, beside the calm, still waters. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. So who is this he? This he is my true self. So when the ugly duckling looked down into the calm, still waters, it saw a beautiful swan. It was always the beautiful swan. The ugly duckling was merely an illusion. Individualism is merely an illusion. We are not individuals unto ourselves. We are one. So the caterpillar crawls around on the ground and the dirt. It's a beautiful caterpillar. There's a lot of glory on and in the caterpillar. But it's a fading glory. And it must fade. The illusion of the caterpillar must fade. So within the caterpillar, there are these cells called imaginal cells, image. Image of all, image in all, imaginal, imagine all. And these imaginal cells carry the information and the energy, the sound and vibration, the light of the beautiful butterfly. Now the imaginal cells were always within the caterpillar. 
the imaginal cells begin to cluster and to form new pathways and to group together, forming discs within the caterpillar. And as this happens, the, it, the, the imaginal cells that are grouping together, which is the uh, information, the, the true image, the perfect image and exact likeness of the butterfly in which the caterpillar actually is within the caterpillar, they begin to put off a new sound, a new vibration, a new energy, a new light, which eventually overwhelms the immune system. It overwhelms the energy of the caterpillar. It overwhelms, the new energy overwhelms, overtakes the old caterpillar structure. And the caterpillar goes within. You want some? There's my mom. Hey, who, who am I talking to? Every, lots of people oh. on Facebook. <laughs> She's still in her PJs. <laughs> and I got turmeric all over me. That's okay. I'm, I'm talk, we're talking about the what we were talking about earlier, the caterpillar and the ugly duckling and all that. Uh, okay. So the... Uh, Good morning. So the caterpillar goes into the still, quiet, dark, isolated place within the cocoon, within itself, free from disturbances, where it liquefies and it goes into this state called chrysalis or liquid crystal transparency. Uh -oh, I'm it. And in this place, the imaginal cells completely take over or transmute the lower vibration in the slower vibration and lower frequency sound and lower energy, you could say, of the caterpillar structure. You could say it has to totally let go of the old paradigm and structure, the fading glory of the individual I. <clears throat> you could say the one that thought it was separate. And in this place, the imaginal cells, which is the truth, the beautiful swan, or the Heikla body, you, the Christ, the one and only anointing of the one and only being, that carries the information of the beautiful butterfly, in which it always was, transmutes into the beautiful butterfly. It realizes who it always and what it always was. So we knew that we would come and experience separation. So God is one. The Lord your God is one. There's one and only one being. The one and only being in the Aramaic, which is Allah. So if there's only one being, there's only one being. So the being that you're being can only be the one being. So even the illusion is the one being. So even the thought that there's something outside of oneness with and as source that Adam and Eve may have had, had to have come from the one consciousness that is many consciousness. So we knew that we would experience separation, you could say. We knew that we would experience the illusion of an individual. Lots of blueberries. Because if there's only one being, this one being laid its individualism down, right to be an individual, to become many beings as the one. So we knew that we would experience the separation. So we, in turn, because we are the one and only being, there can be only one. We laid our lives down of our own accord, forgetting ourselves, forgetting our oneness, forgetting that we are the one being, all of us, only to turn within, 
finding our true selves, which is the one being within ourselves as the individual self, as one. This is why we're overcomers. This is why we're, we're, we're uh, more than conquerors. This is why we're victorious. So we knew that we'd come here in this time to raise the vibration of the entire earth and universes, the one accord, one of one verse, to, to shift all of mankind into the experience, into consciously experiencing our oneness with and as God. This is why you're, you're seeing so many synchronicities. This is why you're seeing so many little signs and wonders. That This is why uh, we're experiencing that we're actually one with everything, including the trees. This blueberry bush, when I touched it, the blueberry bush told me I could partake of her fruit because her fruit is my fruit. This is why the birds that are singing are actually singing over us. Everything is synchronizing and raising the vibration and the uh, the sound of our true image and exact likeness, the perfect image and exact likeness of who we are as one being. Where uh, the the angels, the messengers, the messages here to align our hearts with the one heart and mind, which is, you can say spirit, breath, God, Father, whatever you want to say there. And this is why we're here. So you're in the perfect place at the perfect time. You can be nowhere else. And the synchronicities are all pointing to you saying, you're in the perfect place at the perfect time. Everything is okay. And the greatest thing we can do in this perfect place at the perfect time is to love ourselves because yourself is your neighbor, which means I am you and you are me. We are one. So when I love myself and I see myself as I truly am, the true image, the perfect image and exact likeness of the one and only being, love, I've just seen you and I've just loved you. Because we are one. Hope that made sense. Love you all. It's what's been on my heart. Peace. Say bye, Mom. Bye. There's Benny. Benny, say bye. Yeah, may have. See y'all later. <laughs>